Look, she's here speaking for herself. I won't go through all the details of her plan, but I have reviewed it. And uh, <laughs> I, I think it is the plan which offers the best chance to have the most rapid movement to more broadly shared prosperity. I like the fact that in an uncertain world where borders look more like nets than walls and nobody's in total control, she understands what it takes to keep our country as safe as possible, to stop big bad things from happening and make as many good things happen as possible. When she was Secretary of State, she negotiated those sanctions on Iran and unbelievably got Russia and China to sign off on them. I didn't think she could do that. And, <laughs> and they made a difference. Even the people that don't like the Iran, Iranian nuclear deal agree the sanctions were good. Every presidential election, people run and, believe it or not, it's kind of scary this year, but believe it or not, most everybody actually tries to do what they say they're going to do when they're running. <laughs> they're telling you what they believe. And so you've got to take them seriously. But you also have to take seriously whether they have any chance of doing what they say they're going to do or any record of doing it. Almost everybody goes into the White House with the best of intentions. Whether they succeed or not depends upon whether their instincts, their experience, their knowledge, and their psychological makeup fits the time. I spent a lot of time thinking about this. I do not believe in my lifetime anybody has run for this job at a moment of great importance who was better qualified by knowledge, experience, and temperament to do what needs to be done now to restore prosperity, to deal with these human issues, to make us as safe as possible.